All right, so here we are continuing. And when I left off, I was using a type tool to make an X, which is just like a shape tool, except instead of choosing the shape, we can choose from typefaces, and then we can type in what we want for it. And then just like, let's get something kind of bubbly. Not as bubbly as I thought. Let's see. Something with rounded edges, just so I can show you. Problem is X doesn't usually have rounded edges in these typefaces. So I'm just going to go with this. Now if I hit Command T, I can stretch it out just like I would anything else. And this is a vector. And I can warp it, and if I hold down Shift with Command T, I can distort it. And this could be an interesting way to X out the eyes, but it's not matching my clear emoji. And if I double click here, I can match the color up here. So it is very, I just wanted to make the point that type tools are very similar to shape tools in vector programs because typefaces are just custom vector shapes. But it would take me a long time to find type that was like this, so I'm just gonna build it quickly. What's the quickest way to build these? I'm gonna use perfect circles by using the ellipse tool and holding down shift. Make the circle. I'm gonna match its color by turning off. Well, there's a few ways I can do this. I can actually just take the, um, the lock and the opacity off of this foreground and then just take the one I was using this guy, hmm. for some reason got added to my triangle layer. So I'm going to go back in my history before that. There we go. And I'm going to create it again. In order to match its color, turn off the stroke. And I want this color. OK. Now I can onion skin it again. And lock it. So once I get that into position, I can duplicate it, Command J, hold down Shift so it locks in place and move it down. Command J, move it over. Command J. Move it up. The efficiencies of digital perfect reproduction. Then I can change to a rectangle tool. Stretch it, rotate it. I want it exactly 45 degrees. Looks like 44.9 is the closest I'm going to get. Or 
and even something as simple as a rounded rectangle, you have to really pay attention to where all the edges come. And again, you can use your arrow keys to line things up. That looks good. I'm going to take that rectangle, duplicate it, flip it horizontal by right-clicking inside, and see how those line up. Use the arrow keys, kind of nudge it into place. Pretty good. Then if needed, adjust the circles. Okay, so now I've got a compound shape, which is made up of all of these, everything above here. So in order to flip it and copy it, I'm going to hold down Shift, or I can hold down Command and select each layer. Now all of those are selected. I can hit Command-J. It will duplicate all of those, and then I can move them over. For some reason, it didn't select all of them. There we go. Okay. Let's see what I've got. So now these are my shapes. What else do I need? I need the nose. I need the whiskers. And then I need these little shadows and highlights. And then the icicles. So. It's so always more, keep building. I'm gonna try this with a rectangle that I use transform to soften. I'm not gonna worry about the shape quite yet, or the color rather, quite yet. Move the layer underneath so I can see the shape I'm going for. Hit warp. Curve down the edges. Move the shape up and out. like rolling dough. This might actually be easier as a compound shape because it is hard to get rid of curves on straight shapes just like it's hard to make the corners from curved shapes. Warp. I'm just going to try to get that top shape for now. Then I'll do the bottom with an ellipse. And it is tricky. Boop. Boop. 
I didn't think a cat's nose shape would be so tricky. Now, of course, the temptation is just to rasterize it and then erase it. But we're trying to do everything with shape layers, and we don't want to have to rasterize those shape layers. We can help it. So another option would be I could put yellow shapes across the top of it to kind of cut it out. So multiple solutions abound. Okay, almost there. That top shape. Okay, now for the bottom shape, I'm just going to add an ellipse. Command T, warp. There we go. So there are multiple ways to accomplish any task. And we're just controlling the pixels on the screen. Right. Let's get the color. And then another rounded rectangle. You'll see a lot of rounded rectangles in vector design like emojis because Adobe Illustrator gives you a rounded rectangle as one of your shape options. But unfortunately in Photoshop, we get to practice by combining, which isn't bad. This is all about getting practice. And now a rectangle. Okay. Whiskers, eyebrows are all the same kind of curved rounded rectangle. So I'm going to take a rounded rectangle I already designed. I'm going to use the auto select layer and hold down shift 